hey everyone and welcome back to another video today we are diving into how you can downgrade from ios 18 to ios 17. ios 18 beta is packed with exciting new features and enhancements but being a beta version it can come with its fair share of bugs and instability if you have encountered issues like app crashes battery drain or other glitches you might want to revert to the more stable iOS 17. To make the downgrade process smooth and hassle free, we are going to use a fantastic tool called Reiboot. Reiboot is a professional iOS system repair tool that can help you downgrade your iOS. The download link is available in the video description after installation launch this. So here is the software interface. It can repair 150 plus iOS issues like stuck on Apple logo and black screen etc. And with this you can also enter and exit recovery mode just by clicking on a button. And in today's video we are focusing on iOS downgrade. Choose this option. And if you have any secondary device and you want to experience iOS 18, you can also upgrade your iPhone to iOS 18. And to downgrade iOS 18 to iOS 17, choose the downgrade option. And here you can see my phone model iOS version. It's currently 18.0. And here you need to download the firmware. Choose the location where you want to save the firmware and click on initiating downgrade. And it will start downloading the firmware package. Wait for the firmware package to be downloaded. It will take some time due to about 7 GP firmware package. Once the firmware package is downloaded on your computer, click initiating downgrade. After you downgrade to previous version, you are going to lose the data on your iPhone. Therefore, the first thing you have to do is to backup the data on the device. You can use Tenorshare iCare phone to backup your device. And after downgrading, you can easily recover the data when you are done with downgrading the OS. So click on continue. It will start the deep downgrading process. The whole process will take a few minutes and your device will be restored to iOS 17. And that's it, your iPhone or iPad is now back to iOS 17. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and updates. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.